Kevin, the moment changed when Mr. Comey said, enough. What will be the reaction of the White House to the statement by the head of the FBI that you got to come clean? How does DOJ do that? Well, we don't know what President Trump will tweet or what statement he will make, but the question becomes whether or not Department of Justice officials will answer the FBI Director James uh, Comey's uh, call for, for a rebuke of President Trump's assertion over the weekend that, uh, that there was wiretapping done by U.S. intelligence officials of his campaign. I'm lost. I believe Mr. Comey works for Mr. Sessions. That's Civics 101. Explain the next few days. Well, so the FBI director calling on uh, Attorney General Sessions, who heads the Department of Justice, to rebuke Donald Trump's assertion again about that wiretapping allegation. But that said, tomorrow, Tom, there is going to be a Senate hearing for Rod Rosenstein, who is President Trump's pick to be the number two at the Justice Department, he will be the person in charge of leading any investigation. So all of these questions are going to be put to President Trump's nomination to be the Deputy Attorney General. Of course, we all remember Attorney General Session recused himself just uh, last week. Yes, yeah, so Kevin, how many investigations are in place because of this? And when do we find out what the investigations uncover? So, Francine, you have an open FBI investigation into several key members of President Trump's campaign. You also have, of course, the U.S. Joint Intelligence uh, Committee taking a look and investigating uh, several involved, uh, several of the campaign actions as well. And then you have the potential for a new investigation. And again, that Senate hearing tomorrow, uh, that, that would be led by the number two, the nominee at the Justice Department, uh, Mr. Rosenstein. That be, that he would be, be uh, leading the new investigation. So at least three investigations in the works. This is going to continue. But, Kevin, was President Trump serious when he said it? Is there any regret in the White House that, that this was a, an off-the-cuff comment? No regret, but I can tell you that the sources that I'm speaking with over the weekend uh, are uh, within Trump's political orbit are a bit uh, flummoxed, to say the least, that this assertion was made, particularly if there is no evidence. And so right. should there not be any evidence, this complicates matters, to say the least. Kevin, help me here. Now, you're too young to remember this, but there was a guy named John Dean a few years ago who stopped everybody cold on a summer's afternoon. I believe he commented the other day that they should be worried about cover-ups. Is the FBI looking at the investigation of the actual things, or have they now moved on to also investigating so-called cover-ups? Well, I think that there are a lot of questions right now that remain that are that are still unanswered, Tom. And I think that when you when you take a step back and you and you look at uh, the folks that were surrounding this uh, this political environment during the campaign, and you look at where all of this is headed, there seems to be a lot of uh, unanswered questions and the need for congressional yeah. testimony. And I would anticipate a lot of these people uh, testifying before Congress in the months ahead.